we are on our way to the next town over because I have to go pay my oil bill. But I have some really, really good news for you. So it's early in the morning. I, you know what's funny? I sound like a broken record all the time because I'm like, it's so early. I don't have no makeup on. I'm tired. If you hear that noise, it's the GPS. You know, it's so funny. Like, okay. So last night, <laughs> I, uh wash clothes and everything so then this morning because it's only about 8 30 in the morning and i just like threw this on real cook real, real cook real quick because what is it uh, i don't know it's like 50 degrees out or something like that and it's rainy and so i'm like all right it's gonna be cold today i think the high is gonna be like 57 or something like that so i just threw this on and i'm thinking the last time i vlogged where I got up early to go through the inspection station, but it was closed that day. Anywho, I had the same thing on, and it's like, it's so funny, like I just, I do, I sound like a broken record. Anyway, so look, let's talk about this and share some good news for once. I have, if, okay, so you, just in case you're new, the house that I live in now was my mother, what well, was really my grandmother's house. My grandmother moved in there in 1979. And then when I was about 13, my mom moved in there, so me and my brother my mom you know and then my mom lived there ever since so when my grandmother passed that February she they both passed in 2019 in February um she um you know she had left the house to my mom and then when my mom passed that you know Thanksgiving November um she left the house to me so that house was built in either 1900 or 1901 I want to say 1900 but it could be 1901 and you know so it still has like oil heat and stuff and and oil is very expensive so i purchased 120 gallons okay because we have a small tank and what well, was actually this year is actually cheaper than it was last year and it came to 516 dollars and change so to, let's just say 520 dollars okay that'll last mm, maybe two months so like it it it, it costs some money all right, because you figure in Jersey, you know, it stays cold for a minute until like May. So it's November, so December. So like every two months. So we fill it up about two or three times um, in the winter. Okay, so that adds up. And the more cold it gets, the more oil is, you know. So it changes all the time. Because I, last year when I like put in only a hundred gallons, it was like well over six hundred dollars. So it's you know. Anywho, now uh, in 2018 there was a house fire. Eighty percent of the house had to be redone. Okay, and I don't know what. Ha so they put in a lot of work. All right, but I don't know what happened. I didn't, after, when my mom passed, okay, um, my mom moved in the end of October, and my mom died in, in November, so she wasn't even in there for 30 days. I don't remember if they turned the heat on the because it's November, I, I don't remember, to be honest with you, but I, I can tell you that the heat, uh, so, so then, I didn't move in for a whole year, so I didn't move in until 2020, in October, okay, so when they do the house, they only, you only have a year warranty. Well, I moved in after a year, and plus the house was in my mother and grandmother's name because when the house caught fire, my mom and grandmother were still alive. So there's really not much I could have done anyway. Now, before the fire, the heat worked, okay? But now, what was happening was, so when I first moved in in 2020, like, the downstairs, the heat didn't work at all. I mean, it was freezing. And if you turn the heat on, let's say, to only 67, not even 70 degrees, it was so hot on the second floor, okay? I mean, so hot that you had to put the window open. Like, you had sweat pouring. So, it was like all the heat didn't go on the first floor, went all the way on the second floor, like where the bedrooms and stuff were. But then, the bathroom heat didn't work upstairs. So, only the kids' bedrooms. That's it, all right? Now, I stay in the attic, you guys know that, um, and the attic was converted, oh, years, so it doesn't look like an attic, it looks like a bedroom, right? Um, but when my grandmother's husband, uh, he did it, he never put ducts in, and so you, the heat won't rise or AC, so I have to have my own separate, like, fireplace heater or, um, 
like a window air conditioner or what have you. So my, that's always cold or hot up there, but you know, I, I have that control. But, so the first year when I moved in there, it was so freezing that literally I would wake up, I'm not kidding, and like I had to put gloves on to go downstairs just to make coffee. Like you would talk and you would see the cold breath. It was so cold that the one of the water, the main water pipe downstairs broke that we had to get that replaced. Like it was Oh my goodness, so cold. I, 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 I don't, I, it sometimes felt like it was warmer outside than it was downstairs. I can't even make this up. Freezing, okay? Where I would just stay in my room all the time because I had that control, right? Because I had the space, the heater. Um, it was terrible. And this is when me and my husband weren't together when he was living with that family, the first family, okay? And he didn't care, you know. Well, anyway, so now we go past, because I've been there three years now. So now the last, last year, um, it was starting to get cold. And I'm like begging my husband. Now me and my husband are back together. You know, he's living with me. And I'm like, we've got to get this heat fixed. Something's wrong. So what he was doing was he was calling all these people to come over to see how much it would cost to like convert the heat, um, you know, to like gas and, you know, all these other things to, that needs to get done. Like, you know, and th it was like $24,000 and stuff. And I'm like, listen, I don't have that money. Now I could have financed it and just paid like a monthly thing, but I'm like, of course he wasn't going to help. He always had like good ideas. He had great ideas. It's just, you know, I, me and my kids had to be the one to fork the bill all the time, you know? Um, and I, I was like, listen, just get somebody over there that can see what is wrong. There has to be something so minimal because it worked before the fire. It has to do something with the ducts or something. Or maybe they didn't turn on a switch. Something has to happen that because the heat's coming, it's just coming on the second floor. Why is it not coming downstairs at all? Like, like in the dining room, it was blowing cold air. It was so weird. Like, so cold air is blowing, so you have to close the vent but upstairs were so hot so it's like something's going on and you pay so much for oil that it's eating the oil up and you're not even using it like do you understand what I'm saying it, it, it was bad and I'm the type of person because he's a man I don't want to overstep him because I'm the type I would go on YouTube or um start playing with the whatever the case may be that's how I am I'm like call the people you know call them and it's just see what they would do, you know. I, anyway, it's a mess. Well, he did fix it somehow because I guess downstairs in the basement there was like a hole or something. So what he did is just put like uh, duct tape or something over it. Every time I see, hear duct tape, I hear like um, my mother used to say, duct tape fixes everything. You have a flat tire, duct tape. The, you know, it was so funny. So anyway, that's what we did, duct tape. And so what was happening was the hole, like, so that the heat was coming out of the, anyway, so it started working a little bit downstairs, but it still was so hot upstairs, like, so even though, like, so you still couldn't put the thermostat too high or it would, like, like I mean, it was so hot up there. Um, it, it, it so like the, the two living rooms start working. So then my husband was like, well, just, you know, where the dining room and kitchen, like, just like that. Uh, doorway just put a sheet or something up there to block I'm like yeah but that doesn't matter then it's still cold in the kitchen and stuff like we have to get it fixed because me cooking and all that like you know you don't want to cook when it's hot you know I mean when it's freezing like that or do the dishes oh my goodness now you turn the oven on of course and then it starts getting warmer in there but I'm just saying like you know but at least it was working a little bit I was happy I was like God, I could at least be in the living room and you know like it, 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 and, and it's like warm you know I mean, even when it was freezing, we had those little, like, space heaters, you know. So, like, we had that plugged down. The electric bill was through the roof. But, like, at, you know, if you're sitting there, you're warm. But you get to move anywhere, like, it's cold air everywhere else. So, it's, you know. Anywho, so this year, I'm like, you know what? I'm not with my husband right now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to figure this thing out because I don't want to. I can't do another year, especially since I have a bad back. I have arthritis, you know, my hands and stuff. I'm like, I'm not doing this no more. So 
I start going down messing with the heater. I start looking up things on YouTube, messing with the heater. Like, I, I um, even, even, I want us to say this, last year I even paid for them to come out and clean all the ducts. I thought maybe from the fire, maybe, you know, and I paid, it was like a few hundred dollars, right? I, all of that. I mean, I tried everything. So I start messing with the heater. I don't know what I was doing. I kept hitting this reset button and then this other stuff. I'm banging on the stuff. I'm messing with taking this thing off, putting it back on, cleaning. And it's like all the stuff that it was saying, you know, to YouTube to do. All of a sudden, so then I, I go upstairs and I turn the heat on, okay? And I put it on 70. All of a sudden I hear pop, pop, like it sound like a firecracker. And I thought, oh my God, I just blew the whole heater. Or a fire, because we had a fire in 2018. And like, I'm telling you, we lost everything. Like, I have nothing that reminds me of my mom and grandma. So when you have a fire like that, you're just scared all the time there's going to be a fire. And all of a sudden, after you hear the couple pops, I hear like, okay, now the heat, like it's starting to turn, like the blow, it's starting to, you know, come on. So I go into the one living room, okay, that we have the couches and stuff in, and that always came out warm, right? And that was coming out like really hard air. I go into the other living room where my mother had passed, you know, where I have the recliners at now and stuff. That's coming out, which they were last year. I go into the dining room, it's blowing out hot air. Not cold, hot. I go into the kitchen, which that never worked, okay? It's not blowing out air, but you can feel that that is hot, where it's working. It's just not, you don't feel the air coming out, but you can feel like something's happening. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So then I go upstairs in the bathroom, hot air. It was like warm in the bathroom. So I'm like, okay. Let me go into the kids' rooms and make sure it's not real hot because that's the issue that we were having because if I get all this working, okay, but I still can't turn it up to past 67 because it's so hot in the kids' room, you know? And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's not like burning. So I figured, okay, let me wait 20 minutes. Let's just keep it on 70. Let me wait 20 minutes because there have been times, like even last year, I put it on 70 just to see. And then within 15, 20 minutes, the kids are like, mom, it's so hot it's upstairs. What do you have the heat on? I'm like, it's only why I'm like shivering, <laughs> you know, and it didn't get very hot. And I'm like, I think I fixed the heat. So then last night I have it on again on 70. I didn't put any, uh, uh, you know, above that. And it's working. The kids' rooms aren't getting too hot. Now, Isaiah's room always got, even before the fire, when I was a little girl, because even before I moved in there, uh, you know, I used to come visit my grandmother and stuff. That room always got very, very hot. That's like the smallest bedroom, but it just, I don't know, for some reason, it just got very hot all the time. So that always was warm, you know. But, like, Lexi's room, Tyler's room, it felt good. Like, I, and I had it on for like two hours. I'm like, let me just make sure and I'm like oh. I mean of course we kept the heat on but I mean I was testing it and the heat works now like I am so excited you know sometimes we take for granted like just being able to turn your heat on um having if you have central air or having air conditions but let me tell you something I will never take for granted again having heat ever because for two years, I didn't, I did not have heat, proper heat, you know, it was terrible. Now in my room, there's nothing I can do because like I said, there's no ducks up there. Now I did get an estimate to put ducks up there to, and I can have it as like my own office because I film up there and I do YouTube like on my beauty channel. Sorry about that, the thing fell. Um, it's cause it's getting cold and it's raining. So I'm going to get off of here soon. Um, and the, the estimate was like $6,000. And of course, I didn't have that, you know. So, I don't have $6,000 like that. So, I was like, well, you know. But, all right. Let me get off of here. And, um, because I'm close. It says I'm like two minutes away. So, anyway, I'll be back once um, I pay the oil and all that kind of stuff. I'll be back. Okay. So, I just paid that. 
$520. And I'm so happy. So I, okay. So like I said, my mom and my grandmother, I mean, for 20, 30 years had the same oil. And when I moved in, I got the account in my name, right? And so they had to start over because like they used to just get oil and then just pay it whenever, you know, they had me down as COD. So whenever I get the oil, whatever, I have to pay it right then and there. But for some reason, the, the driver never knocked on my door because I had the money and because um, he delivered it yesterday. And um, anyway, so I'm like, look, I've been paying for three years, you know, can I, what is the program so that I don't have to be home, you know, because like I'll have the money. It's just what if I need oil and I'm not home? I don't want to have to be where I have to be home. You never know when they're going to come. I just know it's on Thursdays. It could be any time. So she looked at my record. She goes, oh, you paid. You've never missed a payment. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah. And she was like, oh, we're going to take you off COD. She goes, so now you don't even have to be home. Whenever you get to a quarter tank, just go ahead and call. We'll deliver it, you know, and then you just pay when you pay. And I'm like, all right, at least something's good's happening. Like, I noticed since I'm going through this divorce now, I've always said this, right? Sometimes when we wonder, like, what is going on? Why? Uh, it's like, you know, when it rains and pours, like, how come this, 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 and this? And I've always said... Sometimes it's the people you have in your life. Sometimes God wants to bless you, but if he blesses you, okay, then he'll bless people that's in your life and maybe they're not ready to be blessed yet. And I've noticed since, you know, I'm separated from my husband, so many blessings have been coming my way, so many. I am looking now, Bridgeton, this is where I'm at. This is where I used to get in trouble, get arrested all the time. And I'm looking like, I never, I don't remember that Wawa right there. I'm going to go around and show you where I used to hang at. Since I'm here, the one house, it's so funny, the one house that I stayed with my son's father. Why is the road closed? Um, okay, so now i got to go a different way. All right. That house burnt down when I was given birth to Isaiah back in 20, 2004. I mean, I wasn't living there or anything like that. So there's no house there, but I'm going to show you the road and all these times. Actually, I'm on um, this one street. I'm going to show you where I was at when I did, got caught doing the drive-by and I got sentenced to four years. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to go up the street. Um, so let me just tell you the story really quickly. I was going to that one house that's not there anymore where I was living with my son's father. And anyway, he wasn't home. And I had a, I don't know if I had a car, I can't remember. I think he might've had the car that day or something. And I remember my group of friends came over. Now they were all in a gang. I was never in a gang, but they, they all were, you know. And um, they all, they, uh, three or four of them came to pick me up. So the one girl was driving, you had a guy here, you had two people in the back, and you had me. I was sitting in the middle. The guy here that was that was in the passenger side says, don't that girl you don't get along with, don't she live on this street? Just like this, we're on the street. Now this is the girl I used to, she's the one who split my stuff and all that stuff. Okay, we used to fight all the time because, like, she had kids by my son's father. I had a son, like, and he would go back and forth. And when you're young, I was, what, 17, 18? I, I was 17 when I got with him. So, like, I'm 18 when I get pregnant. Like, we're all young. Stupid shit fighting over a guy. I mean, now we're friends. We talk, I mean, our kids are grown. Her kids have kids. I mean, she's a grandmom. So, like, it's nothing now. But I'm saying back then. We're going back 30 years ago, right? And so, I go up. All right, where are we at? So, it's still up a ways. And I say, yeah, there go our house right there. Let's just say we're at the plate. I, you know, all of a sudden, he goes under the seat, puts the window down, and he goes, pow, 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 starts shooting at her car. Now, her and her boys had just got out of the car like two minutes prior, okay? Guess what? There's a cop right behind us. A cop! You can't deny it. He's seeing somebody shooting. Right? The girl who was driving pulls up 
There's a Catholic school right up here. I'm going to show you. So now we get hit with the fucking school zone. So, unlawful use, unlawful possession, school zone. Oh, I mean, I can't make this up. So, everybody comes running from her house. They don't know anybody in the car, but they see me. I'm the only white girl, so I, you can, you know, see me. All right, it's coming up, and I'll finish the story in a second, but I want to show you. I'm just going to see exactly like the neighborhood. Um, let's see where I know it's coming up. Yes. So one of these houses here and then this right here. See this right here, this gray brick building. There's the school right here. All right. So it was on the right hand side. Okay. And there's the school. So you see we're passing her house. We pull up, like, and, and, and so we're getting pulled over, and she pulls right by the school. So we get hit with the fucking school zone. So they all start running. They see me. So they, of course, take me out. They know I have something to do with it. The people in the car all turn around and say, she did it. Pointed at me because they knew I had an issue with her. And I stay quiet because I'm not a snitch. And I'm looking at these people like, you motherfuckers, you mother." Fuckers. Because this is the time. I'm going to tell you something right now. I I had no idea this was going to happen. I've done a lot of shit in my past. I am not innocent by all means. Okay? But I didn't know this was going to happen. And I would never have done that because her they were kids. I think at the time they were, what, three and four? And... Or maybe four and five or something like that. And they're my kids' brothers. Like, what? And I don't want her dead. I mean, you know, it wasn't like that. We Back then, it was just fist fighting, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Fighting over a stupid guy. And, uh... Anyway, I take, I take a plea. I get sentenced to four years. Um, I did four and a half months in the county. Got out on an ISP program. Did that for 18 months. And, you know, but... And to this day, this is why I stopped messing with people like friends and all that kind of stuff. I don't have anything. I, I stopped trusting people for many, many years. And this happened in the 90s. Okay? This was in the 90s. Okay? I didn't have friends until I started doing YouTube. I did YouTube in 2017. When I became friends with a few people that I trusted. And it felt good to have friends. And then they did me wrong. You know. You know how that goes. So... I'm glad you got to see that with um, the school zone and stuff. Wow. There's a lot of, um, I have my GPS on because there's a lot of detours. I don't know what's going on. So, But anyway, I hate coming to this town. This is Bridgeton, New Jersey. Um, it's very gang related. Very, I mean, you've seen what the houses look like. Poverty. Um, there's parts of Bridgeton, like if you go like Upper Deerfield, um, Rosenheim, like there's part of Bridgeton's like um, different towns. It's still considered Bridgeton, you know, but like nicer areas. But the city of Bridgeton, um, you know, a lot of projects. I was going to go to the street that I grew up on it and all that, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. We'll do it another day. I think what I'll do is one day, just go show you where I used to hang, where I used to live, the different projects, all that type of stuff, um, to give you an idea of my life. You know, um, I, I'm gonna make a separate video on that. That's what I'll do. I could show you like different things, like, oh, this is when this happened, like what I just did. That'd be fun and interesting. You get to know me back when I was knucklehead you know it is pouring out but anywho um I just had I had a hard time trusting people after that to this day now two of them are dead the two guys are dead the girls are still alive and every time I see them, hey Ann what's up how are you you know I'm like hey what's up you know I'll say hi don't hold conversations my point is every time even though it's been so many years um, you know, when I used to get in trouble, hang with the wrong crowd. I've done a lot of things I wish I didn't. Um, I just, it makes me 
not nauseous, but it makes me, I don't know. I don't, it gives me anxiety now when I have to come here, you know, because it, this is not who I am now. I think at that time I was just looking for love and friendships and I thought, oh, my friends care about me. But I learned real quick, these partying gang, like the one guy, they nickname was Suicide, you know, and, you know, they would like, but when it came to getting in trouble and stuff, they were like, you know, like they were all scared, like, what? And I had nothing to do with it. And I remember saying, why the, Why did you do that? And they said, oh, well, and at the time I had a son. I was the only one with a kid. Tyler was little, not even a year old, like six months, like little when it happened. And they were like, oh, we just thought, you know, if you got a fine, we would all pay it. And they thought it was you anyway. No, you all were just scared. I took the fall. I didn't say I did it. I just wouldn't uh, say who did. Because they said, if you say who did it, you know, and I wouldn't. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. That's all I kept saying. So they were showing an example. And the girl, um, even if she wanted to drop the charges, the state picked it back up for something like that, you know, so. But me and her, like I said, I mean, you know, she's done stuff to me too, but like, crazy, 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 crazy times. All right, I'm going to get off of here. I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys while I had to go pay my oil bill and share the good news that I found, I think I got the heat working. So I'm very, very happy on that. I'm excited, you know, good things are coming my way. I mean, yeah, I'm still going through some stuff, but things are coming, things are moving really, really good. I'm very, very happy. All right, guys, please like this video. It really does help me out. Thumbs up this video if you like the idea of me just going around showing you like where I grew up or like things I did, got in trouble. So you guys can see visually, you know, like the projects I lived at and all that kind of stuff. Like, let me know. I'll be more than happy to film it. If you want to hear more story times, let me know down below. Make sure you leave a comment because co comment really does help out with engagement. It would mean the absolute world to me. Even if it's just an emoji, it really does help me out. And that is everything, guys. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you. Never let somebody take you out of character. Do as I say, not as I do. Sorry, right, bye guys. Crazy right now.